Hello you guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to my channel and this is my art life. So for today's episode, I will be answering uh, some of your questions regarding uh, if I use acrylics in my art and I'll be answering that today with a yes. I do use acrylics although you don't get to see them often because I normally use them for arts and crafts which doesn't get posted usually on my channel but aside from um, these art materials that I often use I also have acrylics yes and I'm gonna show all of them to you today although it's not as many as you think but uh, we're gonna go through it one by one right so without further ado let's get started all right so I think that's all of them and uh, like I mentioned, it's not much, it's just a little collection, but I'm gonna go uh, through them so that um, you'll see uh, uh, what are the brands that I have and what type of acrylics that I have. And again, if you have any questions regarding these acrylics, just go ahead and leave a comment below. Okay, so let's start. So I'm gonna start with these small tubes right here, and I just packed them all up in this little... A food container and they're all there. Uh, these are um, acrylics uh, by Pebeo and it's really good you know good coverage um, although uh, most of the time I go through them really quickly uh, since they come in this little tube. So some of them um, are almost done. This uh, color and company acrylic these are great too and very affordable. Um, same with a Pibeo. Um, I'm not sure if this is the 12 or 24 color set that I got uh, for the Pibeo acrylics. Uh, it's just that some of them I've already gone through and uh, this is what's left of the mask here. Um, I'm already halfway through the white. So those are all of my small tube um, acrylic colors right there. Next one, um, let's go with this Reeves acrylic. As you can see, I only have one of it. Uh, I think it's a little bit pricey, but this titanium white has very good coverage. So um, it's good for correcting any errors or if you want to mix colors and make them lighter, like I uh, mentioned, uh, if you want to have like pastel colors, then uh, this will be the perfect one. And again, it has um, good coverage. So um, you may want to go for a different white if you want uh, a, a white that will be more translucent because this one has a really, really strong um, pigment. So it really covers whatever is underneath it. I also have um, this uh, Berkeley acrylic color. Um, this is the only one I have from the uh, local brand. This is uh, Berkeley. And uh, I use this just once for a certain project, so I only have one color because I need uh, this shade of pink in there. Uh, this brand has it, so I got this one, well, just this color. And again, I, I use it for just this certain project, um, a commission project. There you go, Berkeley acrylic color. Next, um, I want to go through um, the folk art um, acrylics and uh, this is by plaid uh, this is a little bit um, expensive than the usual acrylic because um, it's around um, a little bit over two dollars uh, per bottle and i have me uh five colors here and I, again i only have uh just a few colors uh, just enough for what I need for a certain project and these are mostly uh, metallics so I have here this is metallic black and let me s so you might be thinking how can black be metallic but let me show you what it looks like I don't know if it's showing but it does have those uh, gold specks but it's black and it's, it would look really awesome if you're doing like a galaxy type of artwork this is perfect and then this is a garnet so it's, it's like a shade of red and it's just the usual 
um, metallic color. There. And I also have rose gold and taupe. But let me show you the rose gold. This one really is awesome. I can see that. Really great. Okay, and then last for the full card set would be the blue topaz. This one has an interesting shade. And unlike the other metallics, this one is more of a, a glittered metallic color. Alright, so those are all of uh, my folk art plaid um, metallic colors. Next one that I want to go through uh, would be this acrylic paint. But just says acrylic paint. It's, it's very generic and it's very cheap. Um, it's less than a dollar each. So um, the reason I bought it is because I need a lot of colors, but I don't want to spend that much. So I opted to get these acrylic paints. It turned out perfect because um, it's not like most acrylic paints that will have a glossy or satin finish. It's more of a matte finish. You know, just like those chalk paints. So these are perfect for some projects, especially if you're doing arts and crafts. Uh, again, it has uh, a chalkboard or a chalk paint finish. And by the way, it has good coverage and color payoff. So it's a real big bang for your buck for just less than a dollar. Next I want to go through would be the Focus um, Perma Paint Acrylics. So um, it does have different sets here. You may be curious as to why I have two sets of these, where these are actually two different types of acrylics. So let me just show you. Okay, let me open this up. Okay. So these two sets have the exact same colors, but they do have different effects. As you notice, these are the almost same shade of blue, but um, this one has a different cap, this one has a different cap. So um, if you'll notice here, it just says Perma Paint Acrylic, and this, is, this other one says uh, Perma Paint Opaque Acrylic. So this one has uh, more coverage, it's solid, it's opaque, and then this other one, uh, the cap is transparent. So this set is more of a translucent type of acrylic. So it's it's great to have both of these because it can do different types of effects uh, on your artwork. It also comes in these um, sets with a pink cap. Uh, these are special colors. It's either they are neon colors, okay, fluorescent, and fluorescent, and this one is gold. So this is metallic, another special color, and then this is silver, also another metallic color. And here I have, so this is an outdoor sealer, and this other one is acrylic gloss, another outdoor sealer, and another acrylic gloss right there. So they do have a lot of different sets for different effects, and um, whatever it is that you need for your artwork, um, you can combine those effects and it will be awesome. Alright, so let's move on to the next one here. I also have this uh, really cheap acrylics, yellow-orange color, uh, sky blue, and white. Uh, these are the ones that I use um, for uh, just general projects, especially if I have to make like a, a large artwork or a mural. Uh, I use these because they're really cheap and they get the job done. I think that's a win-win right there. And last but not the least, um, the largest collection of uh, acrylic brand that I have is uh, Montmartre. Uh, I'm not sure if they pronounce that as Montmartre or Montmartre. I'm just going to call it more... Uh, 
but I'm just gonna call it Montmartre for now. Okay, so um, the kind of sets that I have here for Montmartre, I have these uh, Montmartre uh, dimension colors. Um, so these are acrylics. They're very thick, you know, so it will have a lot of texture uh, when you use it. So if you like um, textured artworks, uh, you can use this Montmartre um, dimension acrylics. That's why they named it Dimension because it, the colors are very thick and then when it dries, it stays that way. It doesn't flatten out. So it'll be good uh, for textured artworks. So the set that I have are pearl colors. So it's very similar to metallic colors. So I have a pearl sapphire. Uh, this one is not um, pearl or metallic, just regular color. Uh, it's in brilliant red and this is pearl yellow and then pearl purple and then pearl white so um, let me also show you what it looks like so let me uh, swatch that up and that's what it looks like I hope it shows up uh, on the camera but it, it's like metallic but a little different than metallic so the next one that i have here is the bontmart um acrylic metarder and um, this is actually um transparent um it, it does look like that it's white let me show you here if you can see that it's white but it dries clear so what this does is that it delays the drying time of your acrylic. So if, if you need more time to work on your uh, artwork or to blend the colors in, um, it would slow the drying time. So it's best for you to get this acrylic retarder, especially if you want to have like that smooth uh, gradient. This will be perfect to use. And I also have this. Um, this worked wonders for me. Uh, this is the Montmartre Black Gesso. So gesso for me is very important because um, I would always want my um, drawing surface to be primed first before I do an actual artwork. And I think uh, this black gesso um, is perfect because it's you know it's not common for you to have like a full black background and then you're going to use metallic paints on it. That's going to make the metallics pop up. So let me show you here. Yep. Yeah, I used up a lot of it already. But again, um, if you like to use metallics, black gesso is the way to go. It's gonna make those metallic really pop right out. All right, so next that we have here, um, this is the only one I have. Um, for their satin collection so I got the, the, the gold color um, it is gold but it's it's not glittery or as shiny it's very subtle um, it also has a satin sheen on it but it's not very glossy just like the usual acrylics I also have the uh, Montmartre uh, glitter paint although it doesn't say that it is acrylic it's kind of like a acrylic Although it's very runny, it's very watery, so um, you may want to be careful when using these, but look at that glitter. So let me show you. This one is, I forgot what it's called, but um, it, it's like a prism color there. So it, it's like a prism glitter in there and this one is blue I'm not sure if the glitter is showing up but it basically looks like this um, you don't see it but once you look at it at a different angle it just sparkles beautifully look at that now this one is the blue glitter that I showed you earlier it's really great but it disappears once you um, tilt it at an angle okay so last but not the least and the newest 
I just bought this very recently. Um, I still have it in the box right here. And this is the Montmart uh, metallic acrylic color. And this is uh, 12 colors and then 36 ml. Um, when I bought this, I thought that this were this big. I never knew that it is much larger than this. So let me show you here. So look at that. It's so beautiful. And the tubes are fairly large. Not what I expected. Um, let me see here and uh, let me show you again the comparison of the usual small tube versus this one. So, um, you might be asking why do I have um, a lot of metallic colors on my acrylic collection. Uh, the, the reason is that I recently got into um, you know, making casts uh, from molds. These are made of uh, just plaster. Then I'll be incorporating these to you know a 2D artwork. And then I'll be including a 3D element to it. So it's gonna be really rad. I have already uh, painted two of these. And here I use the Montmart uh, metallic color. This one is the fire koi. That pretty nice. Looks awesome. And then this one is Aqua. This is the Aqua Koi. So I'm not sure if the glitters are showing there, but it does have the blue glitter on it. Okay, let me tilt that to an angle. Hopefully the glitter shows up. And then this is a combination of the matte acrylic and then the uh, metallic color here is from the Folk Art Plat uh, metallic paint. So this is what it looks like. Pretty awesome. And also, before I forget, I also have these um, acrylic color sets. I put this in this case because I, I recently used it in a project. And um, I have here um, Art Ranger acrylics. Although, um, I don't think this is a, a very good acrylics because it's too transparent and um, it doesn't have that much color payoff but you can use it for certain effects so I have here gold and I have white right here now uh, I didn't buy these uh, these were given to me by a friend she used it once on a project and she didn't use it again so um, she said I'd rather have these instead and yeah, I've been using it though. I've been using it, don't get me wrong. Um, it's just that it works for certain effects that you want. Okay, and then next are these um, Chroma Krill um, acrylics. They have four colors here. Actually, it's five. Um, it's supposed to be yellow, blue, pink, orange, and blue. I don't know where the blue is. I think I left it somewhere <laughs> and uh, I forgot about it so anyways um, I feel bad about it though because I got this from Sekaido. Um, Sekaido is a large art supply store in Japan and so um, losing one of the colors was really heartbreaking <laughs> for me because this came from Japan. Um, I got this for uh, 420 yen so um, it's a little bit expensive for me but these are really good it dries up matte so it's more of like a chalk paint um, not like the usual glossy shiny acrylic and if you look at this set oh hey there hey hey Myungshi say hi say hi oh okay so that's all I have for today and those are all of my um, acrylic collection and again if you have any questions please um, feel free to leave a comment below and um, 
thank you for watching and I'll see you then on the next video. Thanks guys.